Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at scarab beetles. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. You may be familiar with them via ancient Egyptian iconography, but that's just one of the many species of these fascinating beetles. There are somewhere around 30,000 species of beetles in the family Scarabeidae, and they live pretty much everywhere except the ocean, and if you've been following along with this show so far, you can probably guess where else. The most iconic of the scarab beetles are the Japanese beetle and June beetle, which are both considered pests, as well as Hercules beetles and even dung beetles. They're typically recognizable by their antennae, which form to be somewhat club-shaped. Usually they're black, but some species come in bright colors, while others are a shiny, iridescent sheen, and some even look metallic. They can be as small as 0.08 inches to well over 6 inches in length, and they can weigh up to 3.5 ounces. Their diet is diverse. They can be found eating plant material, including fruit and sap, as well as other insects, dead animals, snail slime, and of course, poop. Dung beetle excrement collections are actually really beneficial. They contribute to helping reduce disease to livestock as the beetles move so much manure underground and away from the animals. Australia, who's rather lacking in naturally occurring scarab species, will even import them to help reduce waste on farms. Scarabs are preyed upon by bats, birds, and reptiles. Some species will only live in their adult stage of life for less than a year, while others can live many years. Different scarab species reproduce in different ways. Some will lay their eggs underground and others in rotting logs. The aforementioned dung beetle will actually make a nest of its dung ball and lay its eggs within. The young will hatch within the ball and won't emerge until they're fully formed beetles. This is in part why the scarab appears so often in ancient Egyptian art. To ancient Egyptians, this was an indication of life and rebirth. So yeah, the scarab beetles adorning mummies and worshipped as a god, dung beetles. The Egyptian god Kepri was often depicted as a man with the head of a scarab. He was considered one of the sun gods, usually lesser to the god Ra or as part of him. Ancient Egyptians saw the sun moving across the sky as being pushed by Kepri, much like the scarabs pushing their dung. Scarab mythos isn't just isolated to Egypt. In some South American tribes, the myth goes that a scarab named Asak formed both man and woman out of clay. And in Asia, those practicing Taoism may view the scarab as a symbol of hard work needing to be completed before one can reach immortality. The Minoans would craft small, horned scarab dolls, possibly as a charm for good fortune and fertility. The Hercules beetle was named after the god because of its display of strength, and even the image of the scarab can be seen in designs today, which may follow a tradition of them being made as pendants, which stood for protection against enemies, strength, and even spiritual enlightenment. For more information on scarab beetles, feel free to browse through our citations in the description below. Let us know what animal you'd like to see next in the comments. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more Animal Fact Files.